Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to flash the uh, CM7 ROM on your Motorola Photon 4G. This is a, definitely an alpha uh, ROM for your Photon just because there's many things that don't work. Um, so just keep that in mind if you do decide to flash this ROM. Uh, but we, you will need to have an unlocked bootloader as well to flash this ROM with Clockwork Mod. So just a heads up there. Uh, so obviously 4G isn't going to work since you have an unlocked bootloader. But anyways, go ahead and just click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this website. Big, big thanks to Sidebick for working on this for us. Big thanks to him. As you can see, Alpha, um, Mofo, King, CM7. <laughs> but anyways, just click on this link right here where it says latest build is here. So click on that. It should take you to a link. Looks like this, actually, and it gives you a bunch of builds. Click on the latest one. should be November 6th, as of today, anyway. This is the latest build. And click on build. It's going to actually download a zip file, and it's going to look like this. Update CM 7.1.zip right there. So that's going to be your zip file on your S on your PC and just transfer that over to your phone whether on the internal storage or SD card It does not matter since clockwork mod reads both So just make sure you download that zip file and put it onto your photon So once it's on your photon you can actually turn off your device. So go ahead and power it on down I'm on the magnifier ROM in case you were wondering and once my phone has powered off, we're going to actually need to go into Clockwork Mod to do so. You press the volume down button and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of those. Keep it held down until you see, I believe it says fast boot up at the top. Yeah, it does. So once you see fast boot up at the top, you're actually going to need to uh, press the volume down button until you get to Android Recovery. So keep pressing it. Just keep pressing it until you get to Android Recovery. And once you get there, you press the volume up button to select it. So select Android Recovery. It should just reboot your phone. It says entering Android Recovery mode. It should reboot your Photon. And once it uh, reboots, as you can see, there you go. Now you are in Clockwork Mod Recovery. So as you can see, I am I believe I'm on an older version of Clockwork Mod. So right there you might be on a more updated version that's just a heads up there but anyways um, what you're going to need to do to flash this ROM is I'm actually going to recommend making an Android backup of your current setup since you're probably not going to want to stay on this ROM but anyways an Android backup is recommended go to backups and restore select it and just hit backup right there I already have an Android backup so I'm not going to need to make a backup so just I recommend making an Android backup which will back up your current setup and when you restore it it's actually going to put it exactly how it was before same ROM same data same app same everything so uh, make an Android backup once you're done with that go to wipe data slash factory reset select that and hit it actually says include SDXT hit no and then just hit yes, delete all user data. That's actually gonna take a while, so be patient with it, deleting all user data. I'm not sure why it takes so long, but it definitely takes longer than any device I have, and um, so definitely be patient with that data wipe. And as you can see, data wipe complete. Now once that's done, go down to wipe cache partition, select it, and hit yes, wipe cache. So now go ahead and wipe your cache partition as well. And as you can see, cache wipe complete. Now just go ahead and go to the advanced menu, so hit advanced and then wipe Dalvik cache. Select that and hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. So it's gonna wipe Dalvik cache, Dalvik cache wipe. Now once you're done with that, hit go back and then install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and whether you're on, it's on the internal or and external SD card, wherever you put it. And then navigate to wherever you put that update uh, CM7.1.0, uh, just like that. Select it and hit yes, install it. So what that's going to do is actually go ahead and install CyanogenMod 7 on your Motorola Photon 4G. Be patient with the install process, it does take a while. Alright, as you can see, install from SD card complete. Now all you're going to have to do is hit go back and reboot the system now. So go ahead and reboot your Photon and let it boot back up. Um, and then once it reboots, you should be running CM7, CyanogenMod 7 on your Motorola Photon 4G. Go ahead and check out. I'm sure they'll have the CM7 boot animation after the dual core screen, so definitely we'll check that out. And as you can see, it does. Signage of Mod 7 boot animation. 
Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this boot up. Be patient with the first boot up. It is going to take a little while. But anyways, I'm going to do a separate review video, so definitely be sure to check that out. It'll be in the link in the description of the video. So definitely just go check out that review video of CyanogenMod 7 ROM. I will talk about it, the things that work, things that don't work. So definitely be sure to uh, check that out um, if you want to flash the CyanogenMod 7 ROM. But anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe on this video, and watch the review video.